Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming over to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. I make tons of content related to health and fitness. I also do TikTok and Instagram. Check those out if you haven't seen them. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm so glad you decided to come back and chat with me. So today, I wanted to do something a little different. No vlog, no necessarily workout content. I wanted to go to Instagram and answer your assumptions about me. I know I'm a little late on this trend, but I thought it would be fun. So, we're gonna do it. I asked you guys on my Instagram story to send me some assumptions, things you thought about me, and I will tell you if they're true or not. <laughs> Hopefully it'll allow you guys to learn a little more about me. So, let's get started. Okay, so something I see a lot is that I was popular in high school. So in high school, I was very involved. For sure, I did dance, student government, all the honor societies. I was very, very involved in high school. Um, so I was very known in high school, but I never had like the most giant friend group. My friend groups were always pretty small. I actually had a really hard time making friends. Still do, <laughs> but I was known, but I wasn't like the most well like had a million friends person. You would want to move to California. No, I definitely want to go to the West Coast. I've never been, but I want to live in Miami, in the city, by the beach for all of my life. I don't really see myself living anywhere else, except maybe like New York or Boston. If I had to live somewhere else, I would live Definitely up north on the East Coast in New York. I love Boston, love New York, love those places. I don't see myself moving to California, but I've never been. So maybe I'll go and change my mind. You don't answer your DMs. Okay, I try so hard, but I don't think you guys understand <laughs> the amount of DMs that I have. It's a 99 plus right now. And it said that a few weeks ago, and I sat down and answered DMs for one hour straight, and it didn't move from 99 plus. It is so difficult to get back to everyone. Like, they do not go away. So if I don't get back to your DMs, please don't take it personal. Like, I'm not trying to ignore you. It's just so hard to see them all because there's so many. Like, so many. They don't go away. So, I don't mean to, but I do struggle with answering DMs because I just can't keep up with it. Okay, so someone said that you are way too obsessed with what you eat and feel very bad and guilty for eating bad. No, I used to, but not really anymore. Um, everyone has their moments, I think, sometimes, but I don't really think that way anymore which I'm very, very grateful. I get better at it every single day. Like, it's definitely not a linear process, but I'm definitely getting so much better at it, and I would say no, I'm not like that anymore. And I'm very happy to say that. Okay, so someone said that I don't care what other people think about me, and also someone said that I'm confident. So I think those two kind of go hand in hand. This platform has given me that, but before having this platform, 1000% no. I'd say I'm definitely someone who cares what people think. Sometimes the wrong people, for sure. But after having this platform and all of you guys and all your support, it means so much to me and it has grown my confidence so much. So if I didn't have this platform and I didn't have you guys and I wasn't filming this video right now, the answer to both those questions would definitely be no. You keep to a small group of friends. So that's actually kind of funny because the way my personality works, I thrive around groups of people. I like having a lot of friends. That's like the kind of person I see myself being, but I'm shy and I have a terrible RBF. Like, that's my resting face. Everyone thinks that I'm mean and don't want to be around a lot of people because I'm shy and have an RBF. That's not true. It's just a very unlucky set of personality traits to have because it makes everyone think that you're like introverted and want to stay with a small group of people. But that's just my face. So, I do keep a small group of friends. 
but not so much by choice. <laughs> you drive terribly. I don't think I drive terribly. I think I'm a pretty good driver. I used to drive terribly when I first got my license, but I don't think I drive terribly. I drive to school and make like five hour road trips pretty often, so yeah. I'd say I'm a good driver. You hate sweet foods. Not true. I don't really hate any type of food. Fun fact about me, I'm probably the least picky eater you can ever imagine. Yes, I'm vegan, so I choose not to eat certain things, but I will eat anything. Like, there's not really food I don't like. I will literally put anything in my mouth. My biggest pet peeve is picky eaters hate them. So I don't hate sweet food. Um, I actually really, really like dessert, but more chocolatey dessert, not like candy. Like, I'm definitely going to eat like... Oh my god, like a brownie with like ice cream, all that. Love it. A donut. Now I want a donut. Okay, but like that kind of stuff and like chocolate bars. Yes. Love sweet stuff. Love dessert. Ice cream. Love it. I like my breakfast to basically be like dessert. But candy is not like my favorite. Like I like it and I'll eat it, but I can easily pass it up if someone offers me like Skittles. I could easily say no. But if you offer me chocolate, I'm going to eat it. Dark chocolate only I'll I'll eat every other kind of chocolate like I just said I will eat it no picky eaters around here but dark chocolate reigns supreme you don't shower after doing simple workouts yeah it depends what I have to do but sometimes I won't shower for like a hot minute kind of gross you have a big family um, depends your definition of big. Extended family wise, not really. I'm not someone that's going to like family parties that have a hundred people at them, but I have three siblings. So my family is a total of six. I don't know if that's big or small to most of you. If these lawn people outside are getting noise in my video, I'm going to be livid. So sorry if you heard any of that. Someone's doing yard work. Anyways. Ooh, this is a good one. You low-key miss at least one non-vegan food. Yes and no. Because most non-vegan food is made into vegan versions that I find equally as satisfying and equally as good. Like, vegan ice cream, totally satisfying. Vegan mac and cheese. I had vegan Cuban sandwiches the other day. Amazing. Vegan chicken nuggets, so good. Vegan burgers, so good. I had Impossible Burger last night. So, I don't mind eating the vegan version of things. What I do miss, though, is when I want something and the restaurant doesn't have a vegan version. Like, if I go to an ice cream place and they don't have vegan ice cream, that just makes me mad because I know they could have vegan ice cream. So, once the world goes to a place that almost everything can be made vegan, yeah. Oh, wait. The non-vegan food I miss the most, my Miami people will know. Pastries from like the Cuban bakeries and pastelitos and guava and cheese. Oh. Those are my favorite things in the whole entire world. My Miami side loves it. Cuban bakeries don't do the vegan stuff. But that's one thing I miss. I went there with one of my friends the other day and I couldn't eat anything and that was kind of sad. But I truly do think, especially Miami, a vegan Cuban bakery probably exists somewhere. If anyone knows <laughs> if you can get vegan Cuban pastries, let a girl know. I miss it. You never do home workouts anymore. No, I am so sick of them. I hate them. I have built my body up to love strength training and burpees and 45 seconds of an exercise and all that. It's just not for me. I am really sick of it. Quarantine made me never want to do one of those workouts ever again. It was a good time. When that was all I knew, I had a great time doing it. It's very fun. It got me into fitness, but no, I don't do them anymore, <laughs> ever. I got two about my height. Someone said I'm 5'5". Five five. Someone said I'm very tall. I am 5'7". Some people think that's tall. Some people think that's short. I'm 5'7". 
Someone said that they think I was a high school athlete. And someone else said that I played a lot of sports when I was younger. So, I did not play a lot of sports. I did softball for a little bit, and that's about it, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. I only did softball for like two years, wasn't good at it. And for the rest of my life, I danced. I danced in high school competitively for all four years. Um, I danced like recreationally at studios before that, so I've danced like since like fifth grade to my freshman year of college. And yeah, I love dancing. I really like choreographing, I just don't do it anymore. You party a lot. Not really. In high school, yeah, I'm like I've had my moments in college, but not really. I really don't. I'm asleep by 9 p.m. I can't stay up late. You're super smart. Okay, so I've always been wanting to get good grades. I'm not gonna like put myself down for that. I had a 4.0, 5.0 weighted in high school, so. I was a little nerdy, but really, I don't like to tell people I'm smart. I'm just impatient and lazy, so I just find ways to do things like efficiently, quickly, and correctly with like the least amount of thought process. A teacher once told me that I'm queen of doing the most minimal amount of work possible to still get an A, and I take pride in that. I think I'm just good at school and good at getting things done efficiently. I don't think I'm like the smartest person ever. I'm decently smart. You're the mom friend, sometimes. I'm definitely the one that's like making people be on time and <laughs> make plans for sure. You've always been skinny slash had abs. Yes, I've always been naturally thin. My abs definitely do go away if I don't try. Like my abs will only be in the morning if I'm eating bad and not exercising, but like with a little effort, I'll have definition in my stomach. I've always been skinny. You don't fail at lifts. I failed at a squat today. Literally today, so. You made some healthy changes for your body and mind over the past few months. Yes, year, most really, yeah. Over the past year. 2019 was the worst and hardest year of my life. I battled some really hard mental health stuff. College is rough on me. And yeah, I did a lot to change myself. You guys wouldn't even believe what I went through to get here. You dress immodestly. So, I'm guessing that means you think I dress very showy. I'm wearing like a lace cheetah print top. Yeah, a little bit, but... Okay. You are very independent. I got that one twice. Yes and no, going to college definitely made me independent for sure, but before that, it depends on the thing. But I do think now, at this point in my life, I am very independent. So that is something I definitely want to work on and continue to work on as I graduate college and do all that. I love being independent as much as I can. I'm shy and quiet when I first meet people. Extremely, 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 extremely. I've always known to be a quiet person, it's just how I am. My family is so shocked and people that know me are so shocked that I ramble to cameras all day because I am shy and quiet. <laughs> Someone said that I definitely don't put up with BS or excuses. It depends on what it is, but definitely when it comes to health and fitness, I don't. I literally don't put up with the excuses. And other stuff, yeah, and I'll make excuses for sure. But in health and fitness, I don't put up with the excuses. You gotta work for what you want. A lot of people hit on you. No. <laughs> no, no one like talks to me at the gym or anything if that's what you're referring to. Like no one ever comes up to me at the gym. You changed to a healthy lifestyle and started working out in high school. No, I started it in college. I've been vegetarian since high school, but I started eating healthier in college and working out in college. Someone said I'm a very optimistic person. Um, yes, but that actually saddens me a little bit because some stuff like took a toll on my mental health and I feel like that side of me has kind of gone away. 
which is sad because I really pride myself in being optimistic, but I'm trying to get back into it. We are. You've always had a fit body due to genetics, but it's not all from the gym. No hate at all. No. So I've always been thin, like I said, but any type of muscle I have on my body is all from the gym. My butt is self-made. My quads are self-made. My arms are self-made. Like, I put in a lot of work to look like this. I would not have this like figure without the gym so kind of false someone um said that i had an eating disorder i never was diagnosed with an eating disorder but i did struggle with eating i will put um a little link up here to the video where i talk about my struggles with eating i definitely did struggle but i never was diagnosed with an eating disorder i hope that was fun i love just chatting with you guys and answering some of your questions Leave a comment down below what kind of video you want to see next. I can't wait to keep filming for you guys. I love this YouTube thing. Thank you for sending in your assumptions on my Instagram. Make sure to follow my Instagram so you don't miss out if I do another Q&A or assumption type video. And yeah, love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.